Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video. And in this video, I want to show you a date function, tax date function to calculate values between two dates. Like you have to calculate the sales between two dates, headcount between two dates, revenue between two dates, or whatever be the thing is. If it is between two different dates, then how you can calculate that? It's something which I will going to tell you. Okay, so for that. I will show you in a minute and before that just a quick information if you have landed very first time on my channel then this uh, link which is a live Google spreadsheet link is present in the description that means you can easily access it search any of the video here and link the YouTube link that is present in the column B you can go and view the video of your choice right also since it is live all of my future videos will also be present here. So with that, make sure you bookmark that and whenever you need, you can search any of the thing here and jump to the video. All right, with that, let me go here in Power BI. And here in the Power BI, another important thing for this video is that uh, there is one video which I showed you earlier, the DAX function. To get historical or future values make sure you watch that because what i have talked about is this calendar table order date that i created for that uh, historical value which i had this one last day sale if you have not watched that in this video you will find it difficulty following it so make sure you do that on how to create this table and then once i have created this table i joined it from the main orders table that is over here right now my idea is that i want to let's say calculate for example between jan 3rd to jan 7 how many values are coming i want to compare it or i want to use that uh, calculate that so for this i will going to create a new measure and new measure will be your um sales between two dates okay and we were going to use the calculate function sum of sales sum of order sales order sales here in the order table you have this order sales which we are summing it up over here right and then we need to provide the filter filter will be date between which will return a table or values uh, that will have the start date and end date okay so what it needs is dates basically column so where is the date column here my date column so i will write order underscore date date and then it will going to accept the start date and end date so my start date will i will provide it using the date function date it accepts the year that means it will give me the proper date otherwise you would not know in what format you need to provide the date so that's why i'm using this date function so this should be 2017 comma month is first and day is third right and my end date will again be using date function 2017 and uh, month one zero seven and close this close the date between function close the calculate function and click ok once you click ok i can pull the values here but it will show the same value for each row so you can see sales between yeah there you go sales between two days so as i was mentioning it will show you the date uh the sorry the value for the same same value for each row that means it is a sum of all of these values so 4400 plus these three another four values will actually going to give you is the 4800 so probably this is not the right way um, but in case you want to do some sort of a comparison let's say minus plus or subtraction division or any other operation like ratio or something then it is useful otherwise uh, the way you should use this is using this card and sales between two dates and that's your date is Maybe in the future, I will show you how you can dynamically specify the dates and uh, get the desired output. Well, with that, uh, that's mainly I wanted to show you as a topic and I hope 
uh, I have uh, clarified as to how to use that days between function and uh, properly configure to get any value that you need between two days. With that, thank you so much and I will meet you in the next video with the new topic.